name is Paul. My, my name is Amir. I'm Ali. I'm Alex. I'm Nate. Hey, our project is the virtually interfaced robotic ankle and balance trainer, uh, for short, called the VI Rabbit. And uh, the goal of this project is to rehabilitate uh, the ankle joint passively and actively for whether it's a stroke patient or an orthopedic patient that may have just a minor ankle sprain. It has a pretty wide range of uh, patient populations. Um, right now it's programmed just to move passively. So this device moves in two degrees of freedom, rotational, uh, plantar dorsiflexion, and inversion eversion. The device is sensitized with four load cells and two encoders to provide force feedback and angular feedback. This provides a controls uh, to the motors so that they can apply appropriate torques and move the ankle in the appropriate range of motion. So right now as you can see it's moving in these two degrees of freedom. You can isolate the uh, axes and move it just the ankle up and down in plantar and dorsiflexion or you can isolate it side to side in inversion and eversion or you can do a combination of the two degree, uh, degrees of freedom and circumduct the entire ankle as it's doing right now. And basically it's mo passively moving my ankle around right now so I'm not actively moving my foot, my muscles aren't working. It's so the application of this would be for maybe a stroke patient who is too weak to move their ankle around where they can't stand up, they can't walk, they can't balance. And this may be a first step in rehab training where you're just starting to trigger the muscle memory and fire all the nerves so eventually they can start strengthening the, strengthening the muscles and retraining their ankle and one day be able to restore normal functioning. The sensors allow for an optimized treatment regimen based on the patient's abilities. Diagnostic tests will determine the patient's strengths and range of motion capabilities and it will optimize their treatment uh, based on those results. So the patient can constantly be evaluated for their objective skills and strengths and the treatment can be adjusted as necessary. We have a lot of uh, future development obviously going into this footplate. Um, some of the more recent things that we need to accomplish include uh, adding a foot binding to the foot plate, so obviously the user's foot just can't slide throughout uh, the device. Um, we also need to add a support railing and uh, side supports. And the end goal is to have this interface with virtual reality. There's been a lot of papers written and evidence shown that patients who are using virtual reality in their therapy, they're actually, their outcomes are much better. So instead of just repeating that exercise a certain amount of times, they're actually going to be playing a game. In this way, a patient's progress can be tracked by how well they're doing the game. So basically, whether it's uh, a more acute patient that has a minor ankle sprain, uh, the virtual reality will increase the adherence to a training program because it makes the training program a lot more fun, a lot more enjoyable for them. They, they'll look forward to doing it because it's not just a simple, mundane exercise that they really don't want to do. And then on the more complex side of that, with a stroke patient, there is research that shows that uh, having the visual connection to the actions that they're doing rather than just retraining motor function you're retraining the loop between motor and sensory